Hi, I'm Lawrence Edwards from Black Mountain Honey. Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Beekeeping. We're again in the honey extraction room and it is very cramped and warm in here today. Um, I'm extracting a part of my summer crop, so I'm running it through the wax uncapping machine. And then the purpose of this video is I want to talk to you and review the Lyson Abello 100 kilograms per hour wax capping screw press. So in this video, all I'm going to do is talk you through my setup, show you how it works, give you a couple of close-ups of the wax cappings press and show you how much of an effective tool I think it is. So the wax cappings press, it's, it's a very simple tool. Um, this uncapping machine here takes all of the, the wax cappings off the, the frames like that. They drop down into a slot down there, which I'll show you in a bit. And then that all gets funneled through into the wax cappings press. The wax cappings press is based on an Edison screw design. So it moves the wax cappings through a screw, um, getting progressively tighter and tighter, pushing out as much honey as it possibly can so that you end, the end result is that you get kind of filtered honey, which needs another filtering, um, and dry curls of wax. That's the idea. You need to tweak the settings to make sure that you get it fully right. Um, it can be a little bit temperamental, but even when it's being temperamental, it does a really, really good job. Um, it, you just the reason that it's a bit temperamental is you don't always get perfectly dry wax at the end of it. It can be a little bit kind of slushy, and then all you have to do is put it through the machine again, run it again, and then there's no problem. So like I say, in this video, we'll do a couple of close-ups. I'll give you my thoughts on the Abello 100 kilogram per hour wax cappings press, and we'll see how we go. So finally, again, I have to, I have to apologize for the difficulty in shooting videos in this room. Like there's nowhere to move. It's absolutely full. I've got about 50 or 60 brood boxes full of honey in here. Um, I've got all of my equipment. I've got all my buckets and there's just no room to move anymore. So we need to think about expanding our honey extraction room because it's not big enough. Um, so if there's any weird angles or weird shots, I do apologize. It's just that I'm slightly limited in terms of space. In an ideal setup, this wax uncapping machine and the capping screw press wouldn't be up against the wall and there wouldn't be kind of limited access at that end either. I'd want to have all round access and that would make the flow in the room considerably quicker, but I just don't have the space to do it. So hence the slightly strange setup of it and the slightly awkward movements. So this is the wax capping screw press here. Apologies for the view. This is the hopper. So all of the wax cappings fall down into here from the wax uncapping machine and then this is the box and this is the settings so it's very simple design you basically have a stop and a start button and that's all it is like it's as simple as that um, the dial here you just kind of turn that up and turn it down i find about half speed is where i want to be and it's as simple as that so then you can see that's starting to work already you've got the edison screw running through here the honey will start to drip out and go through various filters and stays in this tank here. And then at various times throughout the operation, you can decant from this tank using the opening at the other end. And you can either go straight into a sump or you can go straight into any other filtering device. And then the wax cappings come out of the end of this part of the machine here. So show you it from another angle now. You can see here though, this is where all the wax cappings fall. So they fall down into here, they're funneled into this box here, and then they're pushed through the wax capping screw press. And you can just see like lots of good honey coming out there. This is all recovered honey from the wax. No heat, nothing like that, just force to push that honey out from the wax cappings. And then at the end here, you get dry wax cappings, and at the bottom, you tap off filtered honey. It's as simple as that. So there it is again from another view. You can see all the honey dripping down here. This is the dregs from all of the frames. So the frames go off to be extracted. The honey tracks down there into the hopper, which is there. It filters down into this bit, runs through the Edison screw. This end here, we'll put a bucket. We're gonna put that there now. Nice clean bucket goes there. Um, make sure it's a clean food grade bucket because you might need to recycle the wax that comes out of there just to get the remnants of the honey out of it. Um, and that's pretty much it. You've obviously got your tap down in that corner. That's where you're gonna tap your honey off from. But I do that at regular intervals. It takes a while to fill this up. 
So just leave that bucket there and you'll start to see the wax cappings coming out of it very shortly now. So there you go, you can start to see these first curls of wax coming out there. Um, you see a little bit of wax coming out here. This is why you've got that extra filter. Like I say, it doesn't produce perfectly filtered honey. What it's doing is recovering as much usable honey for you so that you can go ahead and filter it. You couldn't just filter straight what comes out of the hopper up there. That wouldn't work. You need to put it through this machine first to get it to a state where you can filter it. Nice dry wax curls. You can see, do you know what I mean? Still a bit of honey left in those, but that's obviously reclaimed a huge amount of honey compared to what went into the hopper. Um, these can go through again. I do that kind of right at the end of the season. Um, no point doing it in the same extraction session. But these will just go into the bucket and then you're reclaiming the wax and you're reclaiming the honey. So I'm gonna run an absolute load through here today. Got about 50 or 60 boxes worth of honey to go through it. Um, last time I did this, I reclaimed about 90 pounds of honey just from the wax capping screw press. And then obviously I've got loads of wax cappings out of it as well. So that's it for today's video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been the review and the demonstration of the Abello 100 kilogram per hour wax capping screw press. Really, really good piece of kit. It's not perfect. I'm not gonna lie and say this is my favorite piece of machinery, which is my favorite line normally. Um, it goes hand in hand with the Abello uncapping machine. Um, so I wouldn't buy an uncapping machine without something to kind of either press or melt down the wax. So you can do it in the Melifro. You can do it in other devices where it actually melts the wax as it's dropping in and then you filter off the honey. But then my view is, is that you're heating up that honey, it becomes something different. I don't want to unnecessarily heat my honey. I just find a mechanical means of extracting it far superior than kind of any heating, either through um, a plate that heats it directly or through the Meliflow. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, if you've got any questions, just give me a shout please hit the subscribe button, please hit the bell so you're notified of every video and I'll see you next time.